I just completed the campaign of Quantum Break, and while so much is fresh in my mind, I wanted to share my thoughts on Remedy's Xbox One PC Killer exclusive. This game slash four episode TV show has been in the oven for years, and many wonder, is this a must play Xbox One title? Well, hopefully this review can help you decide. This review will cover the story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. The story of Quantum Break is fine. I say fine because that's exactly what it was for me. You take the role of forgettable protagonist Jack Joyce, a regular Joe who is thrust dab in the middle of a time-bending world where every car is a Nissan and every person you meet is met with violent thrusts of bullets and time. In the fictional city of Riverport, Massachusetts, you're invited to a laboratory to see history in the making. A scientist named Paul Serene is testing out his new time machine that he unfortunately has made some miscalculations on and when things hit the fan they hit hard, resulting in untold deaths and unreal powers. You soon find yourself on a quest for revenge, information and closure. Before you know it you begin to realize that the miscalculations made on the time machine have left you changed and improved because now you have the ability to alter time. You use these amazing powers to take out those who want to keep you from the truth and as you progress these powers grow and are even upgradable. You will spend the next six to eight hours using these powers in clever ways to dismantle many aggressive foes and in the beginning you will have a great time. But unfortunately after the initial joy of learning these powers, using them and a few bouts of rinse and repeat, you soon learn that there is little more to gain in the actual gameplay experience. I remember saying that this game was going to be a better version of Infamous Second Son. Well with its similar graphic style and gameplay mechanic, that gameplay mechanic is powers. Unfortunately, there are just not many powers in this game. You have time vision, which allows you to see the direction of your nearest objective and any foes in the area. You can create a time vortex around enemies that stops time. You can teleport around the map during battles. You can speed run and end with a devastating melee. You can create a temporary shield to deflect projectiles and shoot a time bolt that deals great damage to enemies close and afar. While these powers are adequate, they never felt very fun to use and the upgrades to them felt tacked on and really don't change the base powers at all. Add to the mix a very lacking platforming mechanic that can only be described as Geralt from The Witcher 3 drunk and trapped in Mario Brothers. The platforming feels unnatural and unresponsive at best. Quantum Break also sports a cover system as you will often be taking shots from many directions and while having a cover system is good, the way it's implemented in this game is very unsatisfying. You approach an area with cover and Jack immediately ducks behind it by himself. You never feel that sense of accomplishment that other cover based shooters offer as the game places you in cover by default. The gunplay is good, not great, and would have been a lot better if the controls had been a bit tighter. I had major issues finding my targets on multiple occasions. I'm sure Remedy knows that the gunplay is lacking because this is why they implemented a default aim assist that lines up your gun with the nearest target by default. As a third person veteran I didn't need or want this feature and luckily found out that there's an option to disable it in the options menu. There are also some major pacing issues in this game. Going from a gunfight to an episode of TV is one thing, but take into account all the time puzzles that seem to slow the pace of the game as well. There are many times where I breathed a sigh of impatience as I waited for the end of a long chat, or for the end of a time puzzle, or for the end of a TV episode, and these things happen often. Enemies are a revolving door of three or four types, and I'm not joking. There are literally three or four types of enemies that you will face for the entire game and they use the exact same strategy to defeat every single time. I really wish Remedy included a more mixed bag. One that would really test the player instead of throwing the same test at the player 35 times in a row. There is also a ton of exposition that takes place during the game. Unskippable sections that make the player sit and listen to yet another plot point that honestly you don't care about. I guess the cat's out of the bag now at this point, so let's just keep on rolling. The story is extremely forgettable. There is absolutely no character development whatsoever in this game, and with that said, there is no real reason to like any of the characters. I felt no connection to Jack, his brother, any side characters, or Paul Serene, the game's antagonist. 
These people are just there to serve a purpose, and that purpose is just to be there. With that said, let's talk about the four episode TV show that is streamed after you complete each act. The Good. The quality of the TV show is great and on par with most high budget dramas. The acting is solid and the sets are great and really feel like a part of the game's world. The Bad. The story is just okay and didn't hold my attention like I wish it had. The TV show revolved around side characters from the game and only showed Jack once or twice. The side characters were carrying out missions that helped your plight during the game, but at the end of the day, it took me out of the game experience and tried to make me care about side characters of a game that's main characters were honestly just duds. When it comes to graphics, I feel like there are places where Quantum Break shines and some places where it doesn't. The in-game maps look fine, a bit sterile in my opinion, but for the most part I thought that the game looked fine. I did notice some areas where there was noticeable drops in frame rate. This was mostly during cutscenes. The character models look good and realistic as well. There is a strange bright outline around Jack's eyes that I keep noticing that made him look a little unnatural. The time effects were some of the most amazing aspects of this game visually. From rewinding time to navigating time glitches, all these sections do wonders for your eyes and they are an amazing achievement on the Xbox One. The sound was stellar and the voice acting was as well. Everything from the sound of the gunfire to enemies' witty chat to the electronic buzz of Jack using his time powers all were awesome and they kept me in the experience. Final thoughts. Remedy set out to do something different and for that I applaud their efforts. They've crafted a game that ties together time-changing elements with a AAA quality TV show that expands on the lore and the world of that game. The sad parts or that they also added wonky controls, lacking abilities, no character development, and a forgettable story. The main ingredient that Remedy forgot to add was fun. And unfortunately, a game that's just fine isn't always fun. It was a chore sitting through this campaign, and I even verbally said it during my 8th and ninth hour of the game. I can't wait for this to be over. I wanted this game to be great, and like so many games that promised the world, Quantum Break just didn't deliver. If you have the extra cash and would like to see what Remedy's cooked up, I won't stop you. But if you're on a budget and prefer quality over the newest games on the shelf, there are other, better games to be played at the moment. Quantum Break would make a great weekend rental. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my review. If I sound a little weird, it's because I'm sick. I've been sick for the last week, and I apologize about that. But if you guys did like the review, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. If you don't agree with the review, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think about Quantum Break. I respect all opinions. If you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Paul. What the actual... Fuck.